Hi, I'm Sharon and I'm a Christian. So interesting little thing happened today that made me think about how much Jesus wants us, how much God himself wants us and enjoys us. We were going out and as we were getting ready to go, I called out to one of my cats. She didn't hear me at first and she wasn't responding as, you know, cats aren't really prone to obey. But she eventually did come. My dad heard me calling for my cat who didn't end up coming because she is a cat. And he asked me why I was calling her. I told her, you know, no reason. I just wanted to see if she would come because I wanted to reward her. She'd been good up till then and it was Friday. I was alone in my room when I responded to him. So as soon as it was silent, I had the chance to think about what I just said. I wanted to reward her. I wanted her to come to me so I would reward her. I thought right away about God and about Jesus, about how he wants to be with me and you if you're his child. It made me think of places in the Bible like Psalm 34, 8. I'm going to read that. It says, Taste and see that the Lord is good. Oh, the joys of those who take refuge in him. God wants us to be with him and to enjoy him. The greatest reward he can give us is himself, his presence. Even Jesus, before he died, his prayer was that we would be with him. In John 17, I'm going to show you that too. Jesus himself says, Father, I desire that they also whom you have given me be with me where I am, that they may see my glory, which you have given me. For you loved me before the foundation of the world. That's been his desire for ages. <laughs> Since we were created, we were created for God and for his purposes, his glory, his desire, his pleasure. And so that's why being with him would give us the most fulfillment and pleasure. Anyway, that's what I thought of when I thought of how I wanted my cat to be with me. I wanted to reward her. And that's another thing that God will do one day is he's going to reward us. Remember that the Lord will reward each of us for the good we do, whether we are slaves or free. Paul was talking to the Ephesian church at that time, but he makes a good point that's true for all of us. God's going to reward us one day. Some other places in the Bible talk about how he'll reward us who've done good, but also those who have done bad. And that won't be a good kind of reward. But I digress. This desire of the Lord's to be with us and to have us be with him is why verses like 1 Thessalonians 4 verse 16 and on should be an encouragement. That talks about the rapture and when he's going to catch up all of his who are still alive on the earth after he's called up those who have died in him to be with him. It's not a scary thing. It's an amazing thing. We'll get to be with him and be rewarded with his presence and be with him forever. Anyway, that's what I thought of today, thanks to my cat, and I hope that it stirs up good thoughts in you too. Be with the Lord. He wants you. Bye.